Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we're talking about the ESFJ personality type. Now, the ESFJ is an extroverted and feeling and sensory and judging type. And so the ESFJ tends to be described as social, warm, passionate, and caring. As an ESFJ, you'll find that you're a person that enjoys and gets personal value and gratification from helping other people and from being engaged in your social community. And so you intrinsically value these activities. In this video, I'm going to talk about what makes ESFJ so special, five signs you're an ESFJ, and how you can grow as an ESFJ and how you can enter into a flow state as an ESFJ. What I've found is ESFJs tend to be described as one of the most warm and sociable of all the 16 personality types. Being one of the 16 personality types in the Myers-Briggs type indicator, the ESFJ tends to stand out for their extroverted and feeling nature. That means they tend to be and wear their emotions on their sleeves, they tend to be open and transparent with their feelings, they tend to be open in their connection with other people, and they tend to be great at building and establishing relations with other people. ESFJs tend to be concerned with being generous, with expressing themselves, with sharing their feelings and thoughts and day-to-day -day actions and activities. They tend to be focused on their intentions and values. What is it I want? And how do I express what I want to other people? How do I connect with other people? How do I understand other people? The ESFJ is interested in the world and in other people, in their day-to-day -day lives, what they do and what they enjoy and what they value. So these are things that will get you into a state of flow as an ESFJ. ESFJs are extroverted, sensory, feeling, and judging types. Being extroverts, you'll notice that ESFJs, they talk quickly and playfully. They tend to manifest high energy and warmth. They tend to naturally gravitate towards leadership. They tend to be assertive about themselves and talk out and speak out in groups. And beyond that, ESFJs are sensory types. Being sensory types, you tend to be focused on your physical environment and surroundings. ESFJs tend to be people focused on their needs and on the present, on actions and activities they can engage in on a day-to-day -day basis. What are things that I can do that are fun that I can do today? What are areas where I'm needed? What are practical things that I can engage with? What are fun things that I could do on a day-to-day -day basis? ESFJs tend to be activity oriented and they tend to be highly resilient. And that means ESFJs can be people that enjoy and being dependable and being reliable. ESFJs tend to seek out a role or an, a sense of position or duty in a group and this is one of the reasons why they are sensory types. ESFJs tend to be resilient in a sense that even if they face adversity and even if there are difficulties they are most likely going to stay on track and they're going to keep going and they're going to keep pushing for what they want and what is important to them. Being feeling types, ESFJs are people-oriented, humanitarian, and generous and compassionate. ESFJs tend to happily engage in collaboration with other people and enjoy working with others in teams. These things are fun for the ESFJ and natural for them. ESFJs beyond that are judging types, and that means they enjoy structure, organization, and discipline. ESFJs tend to be focused on their health and their lifestyle, and living in a healthy way and lifestyle. That means working out, exercising, eating well, and doing the right things, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Thinking about when you wake up, uh, setting the alarm, and being on time, and doing things in a way that works for you and that feels good for you as an ESFJ. Now let's talk about the cognition of the ESFJ personnel type. The ESFJ is known to lead with extroverted feeling and to struggle with the introverted thinking. Being an extroverted feeling type, you're going to find that you're easy and find it natural to talk with other people. You get the most energy and flow from engaging with other people. When you engage with others, you feel the most in touch with yourself and with who you are. And this might feel interesting because it feels as an ESFJ as if you only know yourself when you're with your friends and with your family members. It is in these senses and these environments that you can most express yourself and be yourself. So it makes sense then that the ESFJ tends to struggle the most with their identity and with doubt when they are away from other people. In these situations, the ESFJ can doubt themselves and their intentions and values and what they really want in life. So the ESFJ feels a need to stay connected to other people and to have people in their lives and to share and to talk with others because this is a way for the ESFJ to get to know their own thought process and feelings. ESFJs can also struggle with criticism. Because the ESFJs tend to be focused on other people, they tend to sometimes neglect their own needs. They tend to forget to think about themselves. What do I get from this? What do I get from this? What is my reward? What is my work from this? And so the ESFJ might feel that they are lacking in competence or 
skill. ESFJs feel that they are so focused on helping other people that they get no chance to prevail or to succeed or stand out for their individual capabilities or abilities. Their team might win, but their own personal accomplishments might look bleak in comparison to the success of the team itself. So when an ESFJ is stressed, they might feel a need to be more selfish or to ignore other people or to focus more on themselves. And this might feel <laughs> unfamiliar or weird or different uh, for how ESFJs naturally want to be and what they enjoy most. Now let's talk about the values of the ESFJ. As I mentioned before, the ESFJ is a collaborative type. That means they focus more on making sure that everyone is happy and that society rewards and supports everyone. The ESFJ tends to enjoy helping the poor and sick and those that need because they feel if we help each other and we can create the security net for everyone then everyone can be happy. This does not mean, however, that the ESFJs are necessarily socialists or liberals and these opinions on the political spectrum can still vary. However, on a personal level, the ESFJs tend to enjoy and value helping the poor and supporting one another and building a strong social community that works together. The ESFJ, on top of that, is a, one of the more passionate of personal types. Their temperament is focused on action, on doing, on applying yourself. So the ESFJ is constantly busy and wants to stay constantly busy. For the ESFJ, the wheel is constantly spinning. There's meetups, there's organizations, events, there's things to do, there's work. And ESFJs, they like to keep themselves constantly busy and they hate being idle. The worst feeling for an ESFJ to have nothing to do, to just sit and stare at your table and to think about things. Because when you start thinking about things, that can be the most tough thing for an ESFJ. When you are starting to doubt yourself, what am I doing with my life? Why am I here? You know, what's the point of all of this? You know, these kind of situations can be really draining and exhausting for the ESFJ. Still, it can be important for the ESFJ to take time to sometimes review their actions and activities. What am I doing and is it panning out and how are my projects progressing and what can I do to stay on track? When the ESFJ is able to prioritize their needs and to live the lifestyle they want and to set boundaries for themselves, they will enter into a state of flow. And that means the ESFJ has to create a life for themselves where they can focus on working together with a group and with people they trust that have their better interests in mind. When an ESFJ can connect with people with good values and with a healthy sense of shared identity, the ESFJ can thrive. When the ESFJ is around people that will constantly criticize them and berate them, the ESFJ might experience strong stress. So it's important for an ESFJ to think about what kind of people they attract into their lives and how they connect with other people. Do people have my best interests in mind? Are people helping out? Are people working together? If you find that you're picking up all the slack and that you're doing all the work for others, you're going to find yourself stressed and burned out over time. So be careful with how you put in your energy. Notice that even though you have a lot of passion and a lot of energy, it's not unlimited. You have to constantly feed that energy by working with people you care about, people that you are passionate about, artists, people with strong hearts, people with gentle souls, you know, people that you know uh, can use and can value you and the things that you do. So those are my tips for an ESFJ to stay in a flow state. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and do leave your comments down below and share your thoughts and experiences on being an ESFJ or on the ESFJs that you know in your life.